flex, flex, yes, work it. Working out, pumping iron, burning calories to stay fit. That's the life of Ernestine Shepherd. This woman with a peaceful spirit spends every day sculpting her body or helping others sculpt theirs. Grab the handle. Five. She's a personal trainer. Get those lower abs. Looking good. She's a fitness instructor. She runs every day to keep her physique flattering. Do you run races? Yes, I do. I've done eight, mar no, nine marathons. You've only been running for four years. That's right. Ernestine, just about everybody calls her Ernie, has a credo for life. I am a very determined, dedicated, and disciplined lady. That means that I must practice what I preach. Four and five. The class loves this mother and grandmother, despite the torture she puts them through, because she does it with a delightful disposition. It should be burning. If it's not, you didn't do it. Her positive attitude, how she's driven, she's motivated, she gets you excited into the class. It just shows me that age is, is nothing but a number. You can be 100 years old and pretty much do the same thing, and that's what, what I see when I see her. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. 30 seconds, okay? One, three, go. Ernie trains weekly with Yanni Schomburger, a gym owner and former Mr. Universe who organizes bodybuilding competitions. That's how he met Ernie. I noticed this attractive lady walking around at my show with this very long ponytail. And I said, Miss, would you mind coming on stage and passing out trophies? He asked me to present trophies, and boy, did I like the idea of being on stage. And she walked up to me and said, you know, there's one thing I always wanted to do, stand on stage and compete as a bodybuilder. I said, am I too old? I said, because I'm 71 years old. And it took me by surprise because I said, I thought you were a bodybuilder, you know, like a retired bodybuilder watching a show. You heard right. Ernie started all of this when she was 71. Her dedication, determination, and discipline come from a place of despair, the loss of her sister, Mildred Blackwell, called Velvet. The ladies wanted to improve their bodies and went from aerobics to weightlifting while in their mid-50s. Velvet had higher aspirations. She said we were going to be in the Guinness Book of World Records <laughs> as two senior ladies who really got their bodies in shape and they were able to inspire and motivate others to be fit. But they never reached that goal together. Velvet passed away. When she died, I just lost everything. I didn't know what to do. I was just miserable. Yeah, push it, push it, push it. Good. What Ernie did was turn pain into purpose and return to the gym after two decades away. Ladies and gentlemen, let's bring on Ernestine Shepard. She entered her first bodybuilding competition after just seven months of intense work. One of the guys backstage said, showtime. When I heard the music playing, hmm, I forgot all about being nervous and shy. I went out there and strutted my stuff. I didn't even want to get off the stage. I was having so much fun. <laughs> She placed first right out of the gate. Her discipline continued with strict attention to diet. I prepare uh, her meals. Her husband, Collins Shepherd, or Shep, is in charge of all her meals. Well, I'm looking for uh, proteins for her and uh, food that will give her a strength and, and energy. She also receives energy from thoughts of her sister and Velvet's idea to make it into the record books. Ernie was showcased in a Guinness World Records made for TV event in Italy in 2010. When I traveled to Rome, I had my sister's thoughts in mind. I said, we made it. And we did, because if she hadn't put that in my head, I probably never would have done it. And the experience, wow, 
just on that stage with those big guys, wow, it was great. At age 73, she became the world's oldest female bodybuilder. She continues to share her message with those who will listen. If there were ever an anti-aging pill, we would have to say it's exercise. We know we can get fit because we are determined, dedicated, and disciplined to be fit. And I love you very, very much and can't wait to see you until Friday. For my generation, love you. I'm Diane Roberts.